I want my seven children, and I should be back on time. Thank you, Art, and thank you, Pastor Cisneros. And this is a little thing I've always done, and I always enjoy talking to intelligent audiences, and these precious little children are going to help me. Now, I'm going to name these children, and I want you to learn their names. I want to see if you can do what other audiences have done. The first one we're going to name, let's not name them. Let's just say when I point to this one, sin. What is it? Sin. Come on, everybody. What is it? Sin. Once more, sin. this one is law. Who is this? Law. Who is it? Law. Sin. Law. This is grace. Who is this? Grace. Once more, grace. let's go backward. Grace. Law. Sin. That's very good. Let's go again. Savior. Who is this? Savior. Savior. Come on. Savior. Now, this one is gospel. What is it? Uh, Let's see if we can go now. Sin, law, grace, Savior, gospel. Pastor Ortiz, we got another good audience. Now let's do it all the way to the end. This is? Sin, law, grace, Savior, gospel. This is preacher. Who is this? Preacher. And this one is church. What's his name? Church. church. Now, let's go and let's quote the Bible. The Bible says, who says? Bible. The Bible says that sin. is the transgression of God's law. Are you with me? Yeah. Let's do it one more time. The Bible says that sin. is the transgression of law. Whoever hates sin. must uphold the law. Whoever fights the law is upholding sin. whether he likes it or not. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Come on, ladies and gentlemen, grace. is pardoned for sin. which is breaking the law. Very good. Let's do that one more time. Grace. Is pardoned for sin. which is breaking the law. And the sin. die that we might have grace. which is pardoned for sin. which is breaking the law. And sin. gave us the law. which is the good news about the now the preaches the in his church. Now today you've got men fighting God's law in church. And they say that the law is done away with. You may go die. Now if you do away with the law, the Bible says where there is no law, there is no sin. So you may go die. And if you do away with you don't need grace. which is pardoned for sin, which is breaking the law. And if you don't need grace, you certainly don't need a Savior. Who died that we might have grace, which is pardoned for sin, which is breaking the law. And in that case, you don't need a Because it's the story of a Savior who died that we might have grace, which is pardoned for sin, which is breaking the law. And if that be true, what in the world do you need a and if you don't need him, he might as well throw away the... 